Vitamin B1 is one of the most commonly seen vitamins. It is also known as thiamine. Thiamine is very important because it helps break down the carbohydrates or sugars into energy. So in a way, vitamin B1 helps in producing energy. And this is especially important for the nervous system and the brain. And vitamin B1 also helps in other reactions important to the nervous system. So generally speaking, it's an important vitamin for neurology and energy production. While the foods that contain vitamin B1 are kind of limited compared to other vitamins, most of the food that undergoes processes like cereals and rice and other bread or whatever contain some fortification of vitamin B1. So in a developed country, it's very rare to see vitamin B1 deficiency. But there are some conditions that predisposes this deficiency as we will see in a minute. A severe deficiency can cause beriberi syndrome. And this mainly manifests as radiculopathy or neuropathy. In other words, the patient will have neuro neural symptoms or symptoms affecting the nervous system. Because like we said, vitamin B1 is very important for the nervous system. So expect the patient to have some numbness in their hands or feet, weakness in their grip, problems in the balance, and general confusion or decreased concentration. Alcoholic patients or patients who drink a lot of alcohol can have vitamin B1 deficiency causing another syndrome known as Wernicke-Karskoff syndrome. This is a more serious or severe condition and it manifests in loss of coordination in the muscles. In other words, the patient feels that they cannot control their muscles effectively and this is also known as ataxia, along with the neurology symptoms that we explained before, numbness, weakness, and decreased general muscle control. They also have some ophthalmology disorders, for example, decreased vision or blurry vision, or decreased ability to control the eye rapidly. So all of these symptoms indicate a serious vitamin B1 deficiency. Some other general symptoms unrelated to a specific syndrome include weight loss, confusion or memory loss, which is reversible, muscle weakness, peripheral neuropathy, and lowered immunity. The most important and high yield foods include, like we said, fortified breakfast cereals or breads or rice, pork and fish, beans, green peas, enriched breads or noodles like we said, sunflower seeds and yogurts. The recommended daily intake for this vitamin is 1.1 to 1.2 milligrams a day and this increases to 1.4 milligrams a day if the patient was pregnant or lactating. We don't have many studies that indicate the symptoms or manifestation of toxicity of vitamin B1. We mainly see it as a deficiency and very rarely as a toxicity because there isn't really much food that can cause this vitamin toxicity. So unless you're actively trying to cause the toxicity, you won't see it anywhere. And as a result, we don't know the symptoms or the manifestations. So you don't really have to worry about eating too much vitamin B1, but rather eating too little. Use the link below to get access to the full Essential Vitamins and Minerals course. In this course, we will talk about all the vitamins, the minerals, their important functions and deficiency symptoms. At the end of the course, you will be an expert in vitamins and essential minerals. As the course covers everything that you need to know.